Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I am going to show you guys how you can get a um, stencil from a magazine. I'm going to show you. I have a couple videos on this, but I'm going to, um, you know, just show you how I make like a blank figure for your art journal or mixed media paintings or whatever. And it's very easy and I'm going to show you now. So I have this uh, People magazine, which I don't read people. I got it free in the mail and I I like to rip it apart. So that's what I have them all for. But I'm going to show you, this is a picture right here. And what we're going to, excuse me, what we're going to do is cut it out. Now this is a good picture too. And I'll show you another video on that, but I'm going to very carefully so I don't mess up too much. I don't want to take Rihanna's hand. All right. Like that. And cut it like that. Now it can be bigger. It can be smaller. It can be whatever you want. Lay that there for later. And then we have this. So what I'm going to do is take my um, X-Acto knife. What did I do with my X-Acto knife? My X-Acto knife. Here it is. Excuse me. I'm sorry for my arm. And I'm going to go in. And I'm going to cut around. Now, if you don't want to use your X-Acto knife or you don't have an X-Acto knife, maybe I should just do it with the scissors to show you. Now, you can see here, like, his, the way his hand is, I don't know what the heck's going on there. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, and um, I'm going to leave about half of an inch, or quarter of an inch, rather, and I'm going to go around and cut. Now this is not going to be a stencil, it's going to be a mask. And I'll do, a, I can do another cutout to make it, to show you how to do a stencil. And all you would do was cut around him and leave the, uh, the outside would be what you use. But I'm using this as a mask, very fun. And you can see that's where we're at now. And I'm going to do his little Willy Wonka there and cut that out. A little Willy Wonka area. And then I'm going to go a little closer. I always cut outwards, you know, bigger. It doesn't matter though. I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's just because I, my hands and all shake and have issues. So, and then I'm going to cut him off, cut him around, cut him around. You can leave the ear on if you want to, you know, do that kind of thing. I'm not going to, I'm just trying to show you a, a general. I'm going to make his head a little round or Hey, put your own gig into it. I, I might leave that little boop right there. I don't know what it's going to do, but we're going to see. And I'm going to go around his face. And I mean, there are so many different sizes you can do. And I will link somewhere around the video, probably on top and down below my video to my other ones, making uh, stencils with these out of plastic. But for now, we're going to do it easy. Now, what you can do to make this even more durable is take your Mod Podge, Decoupage, white school glue, gel medium, whatever you like for glue. And because this is out of a magazine, it's not going to matter. Um, you can put your glue on it, right? Put your glue a coat on here. Do it on a piece of wax paper or and make sure you sh shut these because I cut myself more times. Um, but you can do it on, you know, on your sheet there, put the glue, let it dry, you know, let it dry, turn it over, do a coat on there, do two coats, whatever you want. You could spray glue it so it dries and it gives it a little bit more body. Um, I'm not going to do that today, but you definitely could do that. You also can take, which I don't have, I did look for my tape. You can just take packing tape and do it that way, turn it over, put tape on that way. You might need two rows and then cut out you know, all around it again, and you have that tape on there and it makes it more secure. If you want to see a demo on that, on how I would put tape and all that kind of thing, just ask me down below. Um, I'm just going to, you know, do my thing here. So now I'm going to put him there. Now imagine a bigger one, a smaller one. It's going to be great. I'm going to do a background and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do with him. And it's going to be very, very easy. No big deal. Um, I want to do light lighter colors today. So I'm all into like yellow and turquoise and orange. I don't know what my problem is lately. I'm going to do it only on half of this so it doesn't take a six hour video to do this and dry. Okay. There we go. Cause you know, I can go on and on. 
All right, so I'm just gonna just gonna throw some yellow there. I'm gonna take a big brush. I'm gonna wet it because I want the water because I want it to kind of make my background. And I'm just gonna do this. Now, something that you can do, which I love a two for, two for one, two for two, two for whatever you get it. And I'm gonna take my piece of paper that I cut. Now I like this because it I lifted that up from something else. And I'm going to lay it and I'm going to put it on here like this. My stuff might be shaking because, well, you know. And then look, and then we can do it on this side. Press them on. It helps it dry quicker. And look, we're starting another background, which could be ATC cards, which could be another background, whatever, whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to worry about drawing it, though, because that'll take too long right now. I'm going to take some orange, 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 orange. Wonder if, let's do it this way. Let me put a little bit of orange here. I'm not gonna do too much. I'm gonna take some punchinella. I'm gonna take a brush. This is a scruffy brush, a smushy brush. There's my scissors that went flying at me. It's just dry, I'm not gonna wet it. And I'm just gonna kinda do like that. We're just making a background, nothing nothing too fancy. If you don't have this, don't do it. Just put orange down, put whatever you want. See, we're getting all that different texture. I'll pick that up, I'm not gonna be too careful because I just want it to get done. So look how, you know, we're getting a background already. And let's see, let's do one more color. We'll do the turquoise and I'm not going to wash my brush off. I'm going to just wipe it on some paper towel or you can use your background. We could do this for it to dry a little faster. Same thing. Maybe we'll turn it this way though this time and just give it a push. You don't need an exact, you just want some of the color. See, we can do down here and move it in another position. You're just getting two for one. You know what I mean? Like, look how fun. Just making a background while you're making a background. And now we'll just put, um, I'm just gonna put a couple dots here and there. Nothing so fantastical. You can see I have a little orange left in my brush, but I don't care. All right, so let's pretend we have a very awesome background. I'm just kind of moving it around. So it's everywhere, wherever you want it. Then I'll take my yellow piece again and I'll lay it on there and I'll... And if you wanna use your roly poly, you can. If you don't wanna use your hands, it's all up to you. And then I'll turn it this way, lift up some of that. And see, we have some and then I can see some, I'll move this this way for a second. I have some white so I could take my brush and I'm just gonna push it down hard and kinda Moving around on here to get the rest of that paint off. I see I have some yellow here. I'm always about trying to get more bang for your buck without having to waste time or money. All right, and you can see we got that there. All right, so now I'm gonna pick a color to go on the outside of this. Now I'm gonna lay him just like that and I'm gonna lay him down. You can put double-sided tape on the back of him, it doesn't matter, or her, whatever you're using. And what color do we want to do? Hmm. Let's see about green. Let's just I'm gonna shake this. It is a Deco, Par Deco Art Media Mister in Green Apple, I believe. The color's covered up. It's green. Oh, and it squirts. It just squirted over there. <laughs> oh my God, Kelly! It's Monday morning. Monday morning. All right, let me try to get that off there. I'm just scraping that hole. There we go. And I'm just going to squirt. Okay, that's it, you see? Now, you can also take your paper. You don't want this to move, but you could take your paper that you did here, push it down. We're going to just give it a rub, lift it up. It's going to be wet but you get some of the green on here rather than me taking, you know, a tissue. And then I'll just pick this up right here. 
and lift it out. Now I probably should have done a darker color on the background, so I'll do it over here. But can you see how we have it? The uh, silhouette of the stencil. How about let's just go to town and do black so you can see it. Because I might have done a little too dark a color for that green. I'm just going to place him there. And you can be fancy and make sure that, you know, he's not, uh, the, I keep saying him because I'm looking at him, but your picture isn't going to come up right away. See how I'm just kind of pushing it down? It won't come up. Let's do dark. Let's say you don't have a spray. Let's say you just have black paint. Let's do that. We can do that. Let's do some black paint. I always forget because I know a lot of you are just starting out and that's what these videos are for because you guys ask for different, um, let me rinse this off. You guys ask for different things to do at home if you're just starting out. So, okay. You want a dry brush. Just try, you know, you want to, if you're washing it off, dry it. Here's our black. I'm going to tap in and then I'm just going to kind of tap there and I'm just going to go around him. And what happens is, all right, see how we went all around him. Now I'll take some more and, you know, I'm going to go even around more so you guys can see. But imagine if you do this in a dark blue or something and you have a really great underneath, which is kind of what, I, you know, the goal of it is. And I'm going to lift him up and look. You have a body. Now, does it look like he's a whirly poly? Yeah, and you can cut him down. You can definitely cut it down a little bit more on the sides if you want to, but this is just the general, you know, on what to do. Now, you can go in and shape it if you want. Like, we can make a little... Make his legs a little. We don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. He got shoulder pads on, obviously. I'm joking. He doesn't have shoulder pads on. I'm just playing. But look, see how you can kind of get it down a little bit. And then you have this fantastic, you know, art journal page where you can, you know, finish out the background if you want it to be black or whatever color you want. I like to add water because it goes. Let me just show you what's going to happen. All right. Now I'm adding a lot of water and I'll show you why in a second. Just stay away from that middle. But I'll show you what it'll do. And it could be any dark, any color darker than what your background is. Then I will take my art, you know, dirty rag, my paper towel, what have you. And I will go in and just watch, you know, repeat the, the, uh, darkness on. And what it's going to do, it's going to let some of that background peep through. Oh, I didn't put too much here. Let me see. Let's get some of this. A little bit. I'm just gonna. The longer you hold it down to suck up that water that we put down, the more that'll come up. It's not a big deal. I just want you guys to see. And look, we have texture from the paper towel. And you don't need to have texture from the paper towel. I'm just. But that background comes through and it's grungy. Who doesn't love grungy? I love grungy. I would do every page I ever did, I would do it grungy. But that's just me. So you can do animals, do a dog, cut the dog, don't do the dog, cut the dog out to do this. Uh, rabbits, you know, whatever, kids, women, um, men. I mean, you see how you can change it to the way that you want it. And you have this really great, now you can play. Now you can, you know, put this on as a mask. So if you want to cover this while you do more work out here and it doesn't touch that, you definitely can. Uh, use your glitter. I mean, you can really make a really, really great page. And you can also do this once you do a mixed media background and then put this on it and then, you know, touch up the outside and it looks great. So this is how to use a magazine cutout, you know, as a mask. And it's a lot of fun, very easy. I mean, I could have probably done this in 10 minutes if I didn't talk so much, um, but so much fun to do. So there's a million ways you can do it. And like I said, you can see, cause it's wet. He's, he's flimsy. Um, I can, I can definitely cut some of the arm off though. And I'll use them again. You'll see me use them again. But how much fun when you're starting out and you could do this with the kids, you know, they could do crayons on the background. I love involving the kids. And so 
for me, you know, if, if the kids are too little and they only do crayons and they don't paint or watercolors, whatever, y'all make a background, have them make a background for you. And then, and then do this. It's like, look how fun, look how fun. And now you can paint on top, write on top, journal on top, do whatever you want to do on top. So I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you like seeing beginner uh, mixed media art journaling kind of things that you can use at home um, because that's, I love doing that. That's what I love the most is sharing with you guys um, how you can get started on this because I think the scariest part is getting started. And once you're started and you look around your house or you can get free magazines at the stores anywhere and use any shape or just cut out a circle or something. It doesn't matter. Do a, a paper doll. You know what I'm saying? Um, th that's your first step. And the best part is just having fun. So let me know if you like this. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.